Hi everyone, and this is a match between Kendall Hitchy and George Johnson from the first round of one Serie Championships. So let's enjoy this. Yes. And uh, it is a pleasure, my old buddy, old sparring partner, Patsy Fagan. See, it was the old orthodox break we've been seeing. None of this coming off the top cushion and nestling in behind them. The old Mark Williams break. What did you think of that? Um, I don't think it's any advantage at all, really. It's well, your choice, I suppose. And a nice red to start off with. Well, we're pleased with that part. It looks rather nice red in the. Uh... No. <coughs> yeah, just talking about this tournament last year when Ken was 4 0 up against Jimmy. Jimmy did really well to come back from that deficit. 60. Yes, John, we have Jimmy on tonight as well. If he had an angle, he'd have played it by now. Great so, the other, one of the other all-time greats, Absolutely. Yes. So they didn't... Uh, it was no fluke about their wins. And Joe Johnson, of course, when he won it in 86, Great went into the Reds, didn't finish up on anything, so having to play Great safe, Great but... That was a nice start from Ken, got his hand on the table. Yeah, good weight safety shot as well. Went for the pot, of course. <clears throat> Coming up from Joe. Yeah, these were the type of situation, particularly in the uh, Mark Selby Stuart Bingham game, where we don't do that in the seniors, folks. <laughs> Someone will have a goal for something. Touching ball. That means that uh, just firing away, you deem to have hit it. it uh, it's the cue ball and the object ball all at the same one. Hello! Hi. Well, while I was explaining that, I think. Now he's trusting the table. And it didn't let him down. Good shot. Hit the red you're touching. No. So as I say, you deem to have hit it fine away. That was a nice... Powered it in back behind the red. Well, in the end, didn't want to risk it, so he's played up and down the table. Oh, is he a bit pacey? Is he going to be on anything? 23. Ken's looking very comfortable here. He's looking very settled. Yeah, I think that's the valid point, isn't it? The fact that he still plays on the main tour. Yeah, still very comfortable out there, John. 29. So... But the perfect start, Pat. Yeah, perfect start. He opened up the reds lovely off that last shot. And Accessible. Same shot again with left hand side, John. Pot knocking the balls right in the middle of the pocket. And a chance of a century. 51 <coughs> 57 He's got the speed of the table off to a tee 65 Definitely a century on here 
Oh, has he gone too narrow? No, he snookered, he snookered himself, I think. Oh, he did. Oh, superb. Oh, fabulous shot. <laughs> this is wonderful stuff. Wonderful start from Ken. So 75. As long as you get to 73 when you come to the six cores. Six cores. 80. Yeah, Kim, very 80. good. That cue ball short needs to bounce. Short. Bounce! No, he's short. Come on, Ken, don't let us down. Perfect, John. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, just slow up a touch. Absolutely right, Pat. Break of 102. Get in, you beauty. What a start yeah, from Ken Dorsey. Absolutely fantastic. And he looks over at Joel Johnson and says, I can't believe it either. So Ken Doherty gets frame number two underway. Not no, had a chance. No, he hasn't had much of a chance yet. How did you find the table? Was it running quick last night or? That's it, of course, uh, when you're not used to playing on these tables, the speed can certainly catch you oh, up. Oh, it would do, John, yeah, it would do, yeah. But uh, I just didn't settle at all, so... It's a great speed of a safety shot from Ken there. Put Joe in a bit of trouble again. That's what he's attempting. Yeah, this is not no good, though. This is, this is, uh, the cushion throw is very oh, wide. This is a reasonably good chance, Sean. Oh, particularly the way he performed in the first frame. Of course. So. Ken's from Dublin, Patsy, where... I met the first time I see Ken, he was in England. That's right, he moved to England, didn't he? 14. Long bridge, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, and it caused the miss. Yeah, a little bit awkward that with the with the queuing. One. Played it well as a little bit short, John. More than the brown. It's overscrewed it, John. Oh. He got, got into, into it, that, didn't he? Got into it too much, yeah. No, he didn't take it on, but he played a good safety shot, it. John. That's an absolute beauty, isn't it? Yeah. But he doesn't feel as though he can run through the other reds to get position on a colour, so just playing safe. He was trying to get in behind the pink, but... Uh, Well, a little bit of a chance here for Joe. No. Only after the first frame and the way uh, Ken started the match. Uh. Ken stroked it in. Great shot. Wow. Hmm. That white problem is if you play for the pink and you come too straight then you're really in trouble yeah so well, he's not going to be on anything John we well, might be on the pink but I don't think he can pot it <laughs> no but Joe, Joe might be close to it next shot speed's good but the lines not of course and uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot Is he better line this time? Will it run? Will it run? Oh, He's definitely hit it hard enough, John. Yeah, well, very good, very good. Good shot, Joe. Well played.
but it hasn't happened yet. Oh, and for once, the Not bump on the middle pocket is a good one. Looking very sharp, isn't he? Yes, he's, 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 he's you just fancy him for that shot, don't you? You know what I mean? Occur. Yeah. Ten. We'll soon see. Yeah. Play the cannon. And now we've got the angle on the blue to cannon into these, uh, follow the line. Played it well, John, didn't he? Yeah, perfect. Made that look easy, John. Left hand pot, well, he's gone that way, it did surprise me. But he's played it well. 27. Coming around the yellow and green again. Caught the yellow this time, I'm looking. Joe needs snookers. I don't want to Joe play on just to get a bit of table time. Yeah, he's coming back to the table. He just wants to get his cue arm going. Because he When he's played on the black John, he's just a little bit short. So that basically is three, four point snookers needed. And playing that red as he did, he's not interested in the snookers. Well, it's a two frame lead now for Ken. And really got to get himself going. Yeah. Look like missing anything easy, does he? No, he hasn't. He's only missed only remember missing one shot at the moment. Just playing that with a bit of left hand side, so when he came off to the second cushion it just straightened up, leaving him perfect on the green. Twenty-one. Twenty-five. That's up. Oh, <laughs> the old miscue. Anyway, it didn't make any difference. The frame was well over before that. And it's Ken Dort who looks in sparkling form. He now leads Joe Johnson by two frames to nil. Well, it's a good break off shot. It's a lovely speed. But he's played a great save for this shot, Ken, Ken has. Very good. Well, that's top draw, isn't it? Top draw. Having a tentative go at the pot here. Containing safety, double kisses on. And got. It might not be too bad, John. Wow, close. Closer, but as they say, no cigar. No cigar. Playing a check side safety shot here. Lots of right hand side down towards the yellow. And he's judged it perfect. Like every shot he seems to have played today, isn't he? He's uh, hitting it absolutely perfect. Absolutely super. perfect. Look yeah. at that. Trying to nestle on this red near the top cushion. Ooh, has he hit it hard enough? No, no speed. No speed, John. Oh, yes. The line, line was good. Wow. Well, settle for that. Settle for that, John. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> when nothing's gone right and the pockets look like mouse's ear holes. And the way he's played so far in this match, great chance near the right corner if he feels it's blocking the black. It's gone out for the other one. Yeah, so maybe the black does go to the uh, right. Six. 
Mm. Yeah, it may just go. Mm. Don't put it under any pressure. 24. Mm, just under hit that slightly. Oh, he's gone down for the fog colour. Yeah, well, the, the problem is, I think, with that. Yeah, beyond the yellow, take take him down to the reds. And he's gone a little bit too far for that one, but he's got the backup one. To win matches. Ken's success rate at the moment. Going on to that red at the back, bottom of the pack now, John. Just leaving a little bit of angle on it so he opens up the other reds as he potted it. Mm, played the run through. He's opened them all up, but he's on nothing, John. He's on. Not quite. Well, Joe, this is the only chance Joe has had. Yep, really. The first four or four, five balls will be the hardest, I suppose. Ah, uh, well, as Patsy said, he's he come to the what? table cold. He's hardly had a chance. Ken's missed Ken's one. human, he's missed one. Yeah. He's human. <laughs> I think. Well, we're at the snooker stages now, John. That's that's the end. Of From uh, the first ball he potted, he's looked in real good form. That sometimes that can happen, particularly best of fives. Oh yeah, yeah. Joe didn't get a chance to warm up. He needed to get a few, you know. Put his waistcoat on and put in a few balls. Not as many as he would have liked, but just lovely to see Joe back in the crew. Well, no. He will say, well played, Ken, which he did. And, uh, well, that was very impressive from Ken Daugherty, the 1997 champion. He beats Joe Johnson, the 1986 champion, by three frames to nil. Patsy, lovely working with you. And let's lovely. do it again soon. Yes, hope so, John. Yeah. Cheers, John. Thank you. Ken, come, come on in, come on in. in. Let's, let's go, go by, by the table. table. Uh, wow. I, I, know I know how much you want this title. Mm -hmm. And poor old Joe didn't really stand a chance. That was a great performance. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I settled in very well in the first frame and made a nice break. Uh, I didn't know what to expect today, to be honest. You know, I was... I was a little bit nervous starting off. Uh, you know, I've got some bad memories coming back here, you know, after after last year. So I didn't know what to expect, but I think the table is beautiful. You know, the conditions are lovely. Uh, standard is improving all the time. So uh, it's just great to be back. It's such a wonderful venue. It's such a shame there's no people here to enjoy it with us, but it's just great to be back and great to have the, the seniors back on. Was it in your mind the, the, the match against Jimmy from, mm. from last summer? Yeah, also, uh, I suppose it is, yeah, in the back of my mind. I mean, every time I, I see the, the trophy, I came so close to it. But look, it's gone. It's it's finished with Jimmy played fantastic and uh, he's a great champion, you know. And I think, look, at, we're all just delighted to be here, to be honest, you know, after such a, you know, and a cerebralist for everybody, uh, that it's just great to be playing snooker. It's great to have these tournaments back on. It's great to be playing in the World Series. It's great to be playing here at the Crucible. And, uh, you know, Joe didn't play so well. He's, he was like me. I mean, I was sneaking a bit of practice in, but he couldn't get much practice down in, uh, down in Chigwell or down in uh, wherever he was, down in London, doing the uh, commentary. So, uh, but he's a great champion. Uh, he'll always be a great champion, uh, as indeed the rest of the lads are, you know. We've had a few conversations, mainly at Milton Keynes and, and at the Celtic Manor as well, Ken. This really has been an amazing 12 months for snooker, hasn't yeah. it? We've been so lucky. It's not so much about earning the money. Mm. We've, we've just been around each other yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and in such in such a way our lives have felt normal yeah absolutely yeah i mean uh, i always regard the lads you know that a I'd be with, you know, and spend a lot of time with us. It's like snooker family, and that's what it's like. That's what it has been like. And I think even this year, it sort of made it more, so we've been made more aware of it, you know, about the relationships that we've had over the year. And, you know, with everybody has been going through difficult times, you know, away from the snooker. But you sort of, it's, it's sort of a release being at the snooker and sort of watching the snooker and working at it and the tournaments going on and then catching up with old friends, you know. It's been, uh, in that way, it's been nice to appreciate sort of the good times, you know what I mean, that sometimes we forget about, but I think this pandemic year has made us all appreciate things a little bit different. I would absolutely echo that, so we look forward to seeing you in the quarterfinals against David Lilly, great form from Ken, so one former world champion is through, now we turn our attention to the aspirations of another, he happened to win the title in 85, Dennis Taylor is taking on Barry Pinches, here's what they had to say at the launch. So congratulations Ken Dohutsi and last year he's the finalist of this tournament and he only lost against Jimmy White, but this year I think he will try to get a revenge here. If Jimmy White can come to the final and Ken Doherty could do that also, they will have a rematch at this tournament. But let's wait to this time. So he come to the quarter final. And he went first again, David Lyle, that will be a great match. Thank you so much for watching, i see you guys in the next match. Bye bye.